Hello, we are discussing sheet masks, the scam that they are and also how different brands treat Indian consumers different as compared to the worldwide consumers because do we ask for less or do we settle for less? Let's find out. I wear a mask from Garnier. Naturally, it's my hair vitamin C or eight week jitna hydrating serum. Nobody could have escaped this video ad which has been playing non-stop on YouTube. I was bombarded. First, there was Mama Earth, which I made a video on the onion hair mask. The video is listed here. Do have a look. And then it was Sarah Ali Khan with her sheet mask transformation. Come on. But let's go down on the sheet masks. All right. I'm going to be discussing this product in four sections in this video. The first section, why I tried it on. Second, what the client experience was. Third, we are going to go deep detective into the ingredients of the product, which is so incredibly important to give a verdict whether it really works or doesn't work. And lastly, is it Pesa Vasool or not? So let's go. Why am I trying this on? Well, I'm not. No, no, Niyat. It's a hundred bucks. That's still hundred bucks, right? And the amount of plastic that it has, why would I try it on a product like that? And second, I don't even believe in sheet masks. It's 2020. Are we still using sheet masks? Um, how was the client packaging experience? Zero, because I didn't try it on. Now we come to the third section. We're going detective on the ingredients. Like I always recommend that, you know, it is so important to go into the brand, uh, brand's website and understand what the ingredients are. A lot of times the ingredients that are listed on the initial product could just be the key ingredients which I think mama does really well so the initial optic is that it's all plant-based and it's great for your skin so it's good to understand the ingredients and then understand whether it is really good for your skin or not and also what proportion are these ingredients in the product are they in good quantity to give you the transformative result that the product is promising so I go detective and I go down to the ingredient list. I'm discussing the Hydra Boost, what's it called? Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask. I have all the details on my laptop here. So you'll find me often looking down and looking up because there's a whole lot of ingredients that are packed into this mask. First off, when you go to the India Garnier site, there's only one ingredient listed. Pomegranate, I kid you not, it only has one ingredient listed. Here is a screenshot. How and why? I mean, why? Come on. We're paying money for this. There's definitely more ingredients in there than just one. So why is it that the consumer market in India doesn't deserve the full disclosure or the full honesty of what really goes into the product? I think it's because we just demand less from the products or brands that we use, or we're just not aware. But either way, if you're doing it uh, you know, if you're serving some standards to your UK or to US customers or the rest of the world, then it's not a bad practice to share the same uh, information with India as well. So that was the lowdown right up front. I moved on and found the ingredients. There are about 27 ingredients listed for this product. 27 as compared to the one ingredient listed in the Indian website of Pomegranate. Now, let's first discuss the positive ingredients. Now keep in mind when you have ingredient list in a product, the ingredient that you really want or you're buying the product for should be listed at least in the 50th or 60th percentile of the ingredients. That's where it is in good quantity to give you the results that you want or even you know be justifying the amount of money you're spending for the product. Anything that's listed below the 50th, 60th percentile is in very small quantities or the effect is not going to be as transformative as the product promises. What I noticed upfront with ingredients, as you can see here, is that all the top ingredients are basically humectants or, you know, to put it in an understandable language, basically they are all moisturizers. So you're going to get a lot of moisturizer on your skin, which obviously is going to make your skin feel very um, fresh and dewy. I could get that from a moisturizer bottle. Why would I spend an extra hundred for a sheet mask? More on that as we move into the video. So let's discuss the ingredients. So it's got water, aqua, it's got propylene glycol. These are all the good ingredients. Then it's got glycerine, which is a great moisturizer, great humectant. It's got uh, 
some alcohols which are not so bad because some alcohols are required so that the penetration of other ingredients is easier on the skin so um, we'll kind of ignore that alcohol then we have um, dipot uh, dipotassium which is a great conditioner it's got uh, witch hazel which is again a great conditioner it actually uh, also kind of reduces the redness of the skin and kind of i think um, why it is here is because it really improves the appearance of the skin by kind of contracting the vessels a little bit so you will get a little bit of a tightened look on your face immediately but as quickly as it comes uh, it vanishes also as fast so zero then it's got sodium hyaluronate which is great is like this hyaluronic acid which we all love for our skin in fact i've done a video on it please do have a look if you don't have it in your skincare it is an ingredient that you must must have it gives you beautiful hydration then we have sorbitol which is skin conditioner and then we have xanthan gum which kind of improves the shelf life and it's also got pomegranate uh, which is the main promise of the product uh, that it has pomegranate which kind of really is fantastic for your skin gives you this great boost and is also anti-aging but here's the catch the pomegranate when we see the entire ingredient list is 19th on the ingredient list and like i said earlier the lower down it is the lower the concentration of the ingredient in your product so you can't expect transformative results that the product is promising because it's just too less quantity. Now let's move on to the negative of the ingredients or to the irritants in the uh, product. Well, it's got quite a few of them. It's got sorbic acid, which is a highly contested uh, ingredient because it can be toxic in some proportions. It may not be toxic, toxic in the ingredient quantity listed in this product. But it is still something you need to watch out for, especially if you've had procedure done on your face, if you had chemical exfoliation, it could very easily irritate your skin. Then it's got fragrance. Um, I don't personally hate fragrance, but here this is artificial fragrance. Now, artificial fragrance can have thousands and thousands of compounds in it, ranging up to even 5,000 compounds at times. So if something irritates your skin in that product, it's very, very hard to find out what exactly the ingredient is. And over a period of time, the allergies can become really, really bad. So it is not an ingredient that you kind of look forward to in your skincare. Best avoid it, especially for a skincare product that's going to be on your skin for some time and it's going to be absorbed possibly into your skin. It is still alright on a wash off product like a, you know, a shampoo, a conditioner or even a cleanser because it's going to get washed off primarily. It doesn't really sit on your skin so it's forgivable there but not in a product like this then it's got a ton of other irritants it's got lemonine i mean lemonine is known for the fact that it can cause skin pigmentation why would you want that in your skincare i wouldn't want it at all it's got castor oil which can irritate your skin especially if you have acne causing more breakouts and it's also comedogenic so you don't want castor oil on your skin in any case even if the quantity is less. So when we see the ingredients, we realize that what really the product does is hydrate your face, right? It gives you this massive hydration because you've got so much of hydrative ingredients packed in it. But why would I spend 100 bucket when I can get a whole bottle of hyaluronic acid which can last me for two to three months? In fact, I use hyaluronic acid from Recast. This is not a sponsored video. I don't do product sponsored videos. So I use hyaluronic acid from Recast. It's about 400 bucks a bottle. It lasts me for three to four months. And you get this huge dose of hyaluronic acid because you're using a full blob of it on your face. And um, budget wise as well as active wise in terms of ingredient transformative effect on your skin is far higher when you're using pure hyaluronic acid right off the bottle so not necessarily a plus in this in product at all now we come to the last section the pesa vasool section well one sheet mask costs you 100 bucks to see minimum results you have to use three to see transformative results which are not going to come you're going to be spending 1200 bucks a month which over a year is 15,000 rupees. Keep in mind that's over and above your other skincare, which is going to be cleansers, serums, nutritive creams, night creams, sunscreen, and other treatments if you are taking. Now compare that with the value, sheet masks is literally 
0.5 on a 5 in terms of any value to your skin. 15,000 rupees is a lot of money to spend for that little value, in my opinion. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Before I finally finally sign off, here are my views on this entire experience and why I made this video. The number one thing is it's a bloody lowdown to know that Garnier, which is a multinational brand, has the audacity or even makes a choice to share just one gradient on the Indian beauty website of Garnier as shown here. I felt insulted. I was like, hey, are we not asking more from these brands? Are we not demanding more? What is it? Why do we just deserve just one ingredient. Um, we do know the stuff that we're using, right? <laughs> I mean, come on, that's a real lowdown. Uh, especially if this is being done in other international markets, we would deserve to be treated in the same platform considering both the consumers are giving you the same amount of money. And this is what hurts you so much. I mean, sure, you know, we are India, we're still developing, we're still waking up to this beauty uh, explosion and you know beauty product consciousness but even so i mean and we need to be served equally when it compares to a product that you're selling in this country so i found it really really sad the second thing was to really bring to your attention how important it is to understand the ingredient the composition of a product because that is where the real value lies of a product whether it's good value for your money, good value for your time, and whether in the long run it's going to really give you any advantage or not. Because in any case, you don't want to be spending money and actually doing a disadvantage to your skin by using ingredients which are not going to really help it in the long run. So it's important to understand these ingredients. I'm going to be listing a few websites in the description. Uh, please uh, do have a look. You could check all the ingredients that your product has and kind of understand whether it's good for your skin or not. And lastly, why would I use a sheet mask when I can use a moisturizer, right? There is absolutely no uh, science or there's been no data to say that a sheet mask is really good for your skin or gives you the same advantage that any other product will not. Uh, especially this product in view where it's a moisturizer. Uh, any other regular moisturizer which has even got glycerin or hyaluronic acid will give you far more advantage to your skin as compared to a sheet mask. Plus, there's this huge environmental issue, 12 sheet masks a month. If even 50,000 women use that, that's a lot of plastic going into the environment in one month. Um, I don't think that's worth it. Considering if I were to spend 1200 rupees on a moisturizer bottle, it would last me for at least three to four months, if not longer, depending on the product composition. <sighs> Rant over. I hope you found this useful. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Till we meet again, take care and stay safe. Ciao.